Hello everyone, welcome to the video, I'm going to try to give you guys a bird's eye view of, uh, of uh, EverQuest uh, AOE, this is Carnor's, Carner's Castle, and right now I am currently running three characters, Fonacar, uh, my bard Selly, I'm just going to call him Selly. And my Necro, which is Bertok, which was, is short for the the <laughs> the uh, god name of his of this character. So let's get into it. And I've been uh, going at it for a little bit of a while here. So as you can see here. I'm going to try to give you guys the best view of some AoE action. And give me just a minute to get started, guys. So what I'm, the way my strategy is going is uh, i got a bard using Invis, so I Invis pull sometimes when I know it's going to be a big pull. Sometimes I pet pull. And the Invis keeps the mobs uh, off of me somewhat. But more than likely, uh, and what I'm doing is with my AoE is I'm using a, a wizard merc. And what happens, usually happens, is once the, the wizard starts nuking, all the aggro goes on the wizard. And uh, I can do my thing. So I'm just going to give... I'm going to get my bard into position to do a big pull. I'm going to be pulling probably about six or eight. Nothing too fancy. So my bard is in place. And now I'm going to put my necro to do the pull, which is right here. And basically, I'm just going to be going through this door here, and it's going to it's going to pull about six mobs, maybe eight. And then I'll be back out. Going to pit pull it, and it looks like they've already died, or they haven't respawned yet. So I guess I have to wait. There is a mob in there because it just pulled the mobs to the wizard. Although you're not really going to, you're probably not going to see too much AOE because it's in a closed area. But I'm going to try to get a big pull going and pull them out into an open area so you guys can see the mayhem and the destruction of. Uh, Eight mobs being pummeled, and uh, I'm using my bard is level 62 or 63. Most of these mobs are light blue to green, uh, so I'm still getting experience. Uh, I'm also getting experience with my necro, which is level 51, and my bard and my necro are currently level locked. My, my Necro is level locked at 51, but the only character I'm actually leveling to try and get to 51 is Fonacar, which is an SK. Right now he's level 49, so he only has three more levels to go. Uh, I did go from 48 to 49 pretty quickly, but I started off tonight at level 46, and I got him up to three levels. Uh, just here in uh, Carnor's, Carner's Castle. So I'm going to see if I can get a big pool going. 
The mobs that I wanted to pull aren't up yet. So I'm going to see if there's any other mobs up that I can pull. Because I've been pulling pretty quickly with my Necro. So that I can uh, get a lot of... Uh, I had my lesson of the Devota going, which is a, a veteran player um, perk, I guess you could say. So I see here we have about four, and there hasn't been any repops over here yet. But I'm gonna pull them. I'm gonna get them back over here. So those effects that you see is mostly the bard, but uh, when you see the red fire, that'll be the AOEs going. So I got some pulls going here. Only two mobs though, I'm going to try to pull some more. like to get it to change but it doesn't seem to be changing so I'm gonna see if I can change it to the my other characters gonna wait for it to come up Right now, oh my goodness, did I lose? Right now, I'm currently running six clients, you know, six characters at once on my computer. Right now, I'm just waiting for it to come up, but it's not coming up yet, so I'll have to go back to Ponacar for now. But I think as the as the wizard levels up, it uses different AOEs, because I think right now it's using some kind of maybe ice AOE, but I haven't been seeing it use the same fire AOE that it's using with my uh, level 40 characters in their group. Uh, the level 40 characters, it's using a uh, a lot of fire AoE that you can actually see quite easily, but with the uh, it's still not showing up. I don't know if it's going to change, no. I don't know if I can get it to transition, nope. Okay, so that's okay, we'll go up for a car for now. Unless I can get it. Okay, so now it's changing. Changed to my bard. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get it to change again.
See if I can get it to change. So right now, as you can see, it's using, I think that was a, no, there it is, the, I think that was an AOE. Maybe it could have been a single target. Yeah, it could have been a single target, but I do got it set to AOE. Let's see if I can get it to change. I think I got it to bug out. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That yep, was bad. Oh, there we go. I think this will work. This might work better here. Let me see. Let me see if that works a little bit better. Okay, so this is my other character and my wizard 
delivered a critical blast of 851. Let's see if these guys are following. Nope. Okay, so this is my other mage, my other group in Dreadlands. And so this is as you can see they've been AOEing for a while. They got a little nice little pile of bodies here. So we're gonna move a little bit. See if we can get some pulls going. Cause it looks like they pretty much killed everything already. So I see one mob. Gonna pull him. Pull two. And okay, so that was a single target. But there should be a rain of fire happening soon. Or at least that's what it looks like to me. Um, I don't know the exact name of the. So the lizard's heading for 600. And that looked like it was a direct damage. I'm gonna see if I can get. Okay, so I got one guy following me around. Where's my other guy? Right now there just isn't enough mobs, so I'm gonna see if I can switch over to my other character and get some good AOEs going. But the the spells seem to change as they level up, so you may not get to see that big fiery rain of fire spell. This is a name mob here, the Risen Soldier. I think he might be part of an epic quest, I don't know. Uh, he's going down. I'm going to get my bard pulled over here. To see if I can get that 8, eight uh, mob pull in. I gotta get my um, Invis song going. So now I'm invisible, my other character's invisible. Getting ready for that big pull. I'm gonna be pulling out of that door here. That's in front of me. Just gotta get my other guy turned around. So he's invisible right now. So all I have to do is click on that mob back up over here. 
and send in my pet. And I should get an aggro of maybe six to eight mobs, hopefully. So yeah, so right there it's one, two, three, four, five. And I might get a couple of more stragglers. Um, but I gotta get in there to let you guys see the AoEs happening. So let me get in there. So as you can see, this is my 63 bug. And everything is pretty much green. So eventually you're going to see all the mobs get pulled out because of the uh, healing aggro. And as you can see some of them are still in here. But they're getting burned down all except one of them. That one right there. But I think eventually they'll all get pulled out maybe. That's usually what ends up happening. So we'll see. Yeah, not in this case. Let's check up on our other guys. So my my um my mage is level forty nine. Uh, once he hits fifty one, I'm gonna level lock him until my other characters catch up. My other care alts. Right now I'm just going through and grabbing all the loot. As you can see, there's a big pile of loot here. So that's gonna go to. I have, uh, in this group I have two berserkers and one mage, one tank, one wizard merc, and one healer merc. So there wasn't that much loot. And I'm just going to find my mage. Follow on him. Switch over to my other guy. As you can see, he's gonna be following my mage. My nuker has pretty good mana. Uh, starts with J has full mana. Healer does not have full mana, but that's okay. And I haven't had any problems uh, since I started the group. And when you have your Merc stock, just got to make sure you have enough money to keep them out. Because if you run out of money, then you will no longer uh, be able to keep them out once you run out of money. So you got to make sure you have enough money to keep them out. But as of right now, this uh, now this is the older content of EverQuest, Dreadlands, which is part of the Kunark era. If you look at the zone guide, you'll see you can put it for just Kunark, and you'll see that there's quite a few zones that you can do. Um, and it looks like they still have some of them. Going that are sw switched over to a hundred level hundred. I remember when I used to level up in the Temple of Droga, but now they got it at level one hundred. Um, I don't know if that's permanent. I know some of it's temporary, and they have a calendar function that you can use. <laughs> this 
So this is the calendar for June. Today's the 20th, and it, they don't have anything listed for the end of this month. I got a mob that respawned. It's only one, but so I'm going to go ahead and take this one out. And as you can see, I have uh, Invis going automatically through my bard. So the mob isn't attacking my guys. But if I were to sit down, he would probably attack. Or if I was close to him. Looks like there's a good amount of mobs over here on this side. So I only got two on that pool. I'm going to see if I can get a few more. The lieutenant's kind of tough, but I'll pull him anyway. So now I have four mobs, but they're dying so fast. And my, um, as you can see, the wizard has pulled all the aggro because I got it set to constantly cast AoE nukes. So I don't have to worry about getting too much aggro on myself. And my pet's killing the other one. I'm going to pull another one. Because one of them is already dying. I'm going to pull it over here and let it get AOE'd. So as soon as AOE hits a couple of times, it'll stop hitting me, hopefully. <laughs> and it's still on me. My pet's still alive. There we go. Yeah, he really doesn't like me. Okay, so aggro is finally off of me. You can see it's the AOE, the AOE is hitting most of these mobs, three of those mobs, and they're going down pretty quick. The one mob is a little far away. I don't think he's getting hit, but my pet's taking him out. So I could just cast some more dots on him, but he won't really last that long. So I'll just cast two. And I got a signal saying it disconnected. Okay. But I'm still recording. Yeah, I'm still recording. So all is good. Okay, looks like one of my characters just leveled up again. Yeah, for some reason my pet is not attacking, I don't know why, but I'm having, huh, that's strange. My pet has some kind of thing on it, but it should be working anyway, I don't know why my pet, I don't know why my pet wasn't working, but that's strange.
So we're going to go over to the loot guy. Check out any loot that we might want. Okay, so it looks like we got some defiant cloth sleeves. And it looks like my stream reconnected automatically, so we'll see. And I'm gonna. So this is gonna go to Largon the Mage, the cloth sleeves. And I should be able to look at them. It looks like the stream came back up. Okay, so we were going to look at those sleeves. Let me see. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff looted. I got chain sleeves. I got some ornaments. Looking for the sleeves, though. I don't see them. It's, oh, okay, so I'm looking at the wrong character. <laughs> That's why I couldn't see anything. Okay, so it looks like it went here. So this is level 26 to 40. My character is almost level 50, so I can use these. They're on the required level to use them. So I got an upgrade tonight. At least one upgrade tonight, guys. And I'm getting our looted pre-plot off of the last kill. Let's see if my character will attack. Yep, my pet's attacking. <laughs> so I think it, I was trying to s send my pet to attack, but I was on the wrong screen. I was on my character that doesn't have a pet. And before I do log off and go to bed, I need to use my Lesson of Devoted, so I'll probably go ahead and do that now. Uh, please excuse the noise, guys. I'm changing my computer configuration here for a minute. I don't know if I want to try to get to Ventros. <laughs> Ventros Sather. I might be able to do it with a full group, I don't know. And I'm not I'm not really sure if I know how to get to them. So I don't know if I'm gonna be doing Venthral Sather guys. But it would have been it would be nice to record it before I go offline. Okay guys, uh, that should be the end of the noise. I'm gonna go ahead and and there's a something called Steadfast Servant. If you guys know what, I mean, if you guys have been playing EverQuest a while, you'll know what that is. If you don't know what it is, it's another veteran AA. And it's right here. Steadfast Servant. This ability summons forth a faithful servant that will follow you around and cast healing and beneficial buffs such as haste to make your mercenaries attack faster and the mobs will die a little bit faster too. And the servant will last for 30 minutes and then or until you zone. And then the other one is Lesson of the Devoted. It just means that you get more experience. You get uh, extra experience per kill for 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and use those two now. Even though I do have 
fobs that are not up because eventually they will repop and I can get a little bit more experience before I head to bed. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the devoter and you'll see it pop in the upper right right here. And then if I hold my mouse over it will say listen of the devoted. So that's how I know that it's working. The other one is actually a, a little thing animated uh, servant and it just popped. So that's it right there. Little red guy. So he's basically just going to be healing and casting buffs. That, that's pretty much it. Other than that, uh, my guys should be all set. So here we go. So I got 30 minutes to try and pull as many as I can. I can't get in here yet, but I can aggro the mob when my invis drops. So no uh, repops in here yet. So now I am visible. Mobs can see me, so these guys are going to be attacking me. I got four pools, so this is going to be a nice little. And it looks like uh, my <laughs> yeah my my wizard is getting aggro here. So this is my mercenary here, my nuker. So every time you see it flip like that, it's casting a spell. So you can see that it's continuously casting. I'm going to see if I can see the AoEs happening. Yeah, so there, I believe that was an AoE. I don't know. It could have been that red could be the mobs attacking. I'm going to see if I have, still have it set to AoE. Yeah, I do. Burn AoE. Yeah, so the looks like the lightning is hitting all three of them at the same time. And you can see that they're all going down pretty much at the same time. And then it looked like there was a, might have been enough. I think the draw of fire is AOA, not sure, but. Okay, so this room is clear. I think there was another way to go. Okay. Okay, so I guess this is the end. So we got some repops in the room, and they're all at the same time. We got four, so those will get you AoE'd. And there's one here. That one won't get AoE'd. Oh, we got some more? No? Oh, okay, they're all moving on my, my wizard. Let's see if I can get him to come over. There we go. Okay, so he's awake. And now all we gotta do is get all these guys over here. So it looks like, let's see how they're getting hit. Okay, so it looks like my... That was Force Strike. Looks like a big blue AoE thing. I 
Alright, so that was... All those mobs are wiped out. Got a nice big... Mass of death here going on. Yep, we got some more mobs up too. So, we get ready to do some more AoEs. Get these pulled. Pull them right over here on the... Hopefully I can get them pulled. Right on the wizard. So they can all get AoE. Yeah, so I'm waiting to lose aggro. Okay, so it looks like my live stream disconnected again, but I'm still recording. Now you can see the wizard has aggro. There's two left, but that was the mob that was pounding on me. And the healer kept me alive, even though... I think the healer is full mana, but my wizard is almost... It's getting low on mana because he's been nuking... It's been... Well... The wizard's been nuking constantly, so he's starting to run out of mana. I might have to wait a, a minute or two before I do another pull. So let's check on the other group, see how they're doing. Everything looks to be dead, so... I'm going to see if I can do some pulls. Okay, so it looks like my stream is back up. And the reason why I, my stream is disconnecting and reconnecting is because I'm I'm running out of uh, CPU power to Okay, so we got this guy. And I noticed that I have my range equipped. So I can do a ranged attack. But I have to rearrange my icon to do a ranged attack. I have to make a hotkey, basically. And I see the ranged attack. I'm going to put it in my number 3 slot. And uh, let me see. See if there's anything to pull or zoom out. Got one very far away here. And I got it pulled. Pull him too. So I got two mobs coming in. And I'm going to pull them into the group. And they're dying pretty quick. Let's see if there's any mobs around. There's one coming right in. I'll just hit him real quick just to make sure I got his attention. And I probably that was probably a ding 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 AA ding 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 ding. So we got that guy done. And my wizard pulled the aggro. <laughs> so there we go. Wizard's pulling the aggro. So this wizard is you're gonna see it looks different. But I'm gonna I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull some more in here. There we go. So now we got three. And the wizard this is my gnome wizard. And she has aggro. There we go. That was her fire AoE. And you can see she is burning these critters down. She is not playing around with these guys. So, this is a gnome wizard, and she is burning them down. 
as she as you can see she's short which is typical of the gnome race and she is nuking those bad boys down so this is the one that I was talking about guys that has a this is the one that I like the AOE that I like it because I think the spell changes when it gets higher level and you don't get that nice little effect so that was uh, the the level of this wizard is a little bit more low level probably like around 45 well same it's not the same level as my character because he leveled up I think I started around 43 and I got about five levels out here all these so after a while these pile of bodies do add up to a lot of experience so far I've been out here and my characters have gotten about five levels already and I can continue pulling so that's one nice thing about the you know they're not the best pullers in the world but they can they can aim at something and hit it with a range and get it pulled in so we can get it burned down and the berser and this is a berserker this is Aramar. he's a he's a ber a berserker a dwarf berserker so he's also another short race of every quest So as you can see this group is doing pretty well as far as leveling goes. So my other group should be netted up and ready to go now. Um, they actually had some aggro and they, they're, they're taking care of it. They had some aggro while I was on the other one. So as you can see here I'm going to be pulling some more mobs. I'm going to see if I can tag that one in time. Boom. Three. Nope. Let's see if I can get that third one. So they will all be pulled on the wizard, and the wizard will just AOE them down. And I should probably check on my loot. Pull this guy too. Yeah, that's uh, probably a wizard um, mob, because it was nuking me. Luckily, I have pretty good resist, so it doesn't get a, it doesn't get a hit me too hard. And being that this is the older content, then uh, the mobs don't uh, have much HP and they're easy to kill and you don't really take too much damage from them so it's pretty safe to to pull them without a, a pulling class that's geared to pull stuff and not die you can pretty much just let it tag in and let the other the mercs aggro it and take it down I'll use my pet to pull those. And I don't know if there's any nearby in these, but I think this is the way to get to Ventral Sather, and I think he has a few good drops. So I did get a pretty good pull here. 
I just have to be a little careful. Just pull them on to my So we got one, two, three, four, five, six mobs. And then I get an AoE down. But as you can see it's a different kind of AoE. Um, but it, it works. It's definitely taking them down pretty quick. Getting some pretty good experience. And I need to turn on the the uh, AA on my other character too. Looks like my one character is about to ding 50. Yep. And then when they hit 51, you can lock them 100% into AAs. And they won't level anymore until you decide to level them up. So the way that you can see that is in the upper right up here. Experience to AA 100%. And you can change it. But I'm going to keep mine at 100. Keep them locked in at uh, this character locked in at 61. So my other characters get get a chance to get to his same level. And then when they group together, they can get more experience together. Because the further their levels are apart, the less experience the, they get. So if you keep them all around the same level, you're going to maximize your experience. Uh, let's see, so we've got to turn on our Listen of the Devoted. Boom. So that is on. I'm going to put on my Inviz. And I think this is actually the way to uh, Ventral Sather. I, don't, I, I could be wrong, but I don't know. I can't remember if I've ever... I can't remember if I've ever gone uh, and taken out Ventral Sather. I don't think I've ever done it. So I think you need keys to get to him, I don't know, but I might try to make my way to him while I'm burning my lessons. Although I don't know the way to get there because, as you can see, it gets somewhat complicated to get to him. But we'll see. I think this well might go down to him. This well goes somewhere. I forget where that well goes to, but you can go down there. And I think that might go to him. I don't know. I just can't remember. It's been so long since I've been uh, in this zone thoroughly. There's a mob there. <laughs> so let's move our bard in I'm still streaming, I think. It says I'm offline, so I'm not really sure at this point. And, okay, so these characters. There's a door here. Okay, so we only have two in here. Let 
I'm going to see if this goes further in. Yeah, it looks like there's another mob in here. I don't know if it goes in any further. Looks like it might be a dead end. No, it's not a dead end. And it looks like we're getting closer to Ventral. Okay, so I'm going to move my bard in. I think that these guys are high enough level to take Ventral Sather, but if I get any ads, I don't know if I can beat him. Because I know he's, uh, he's hard. This one's locked. This one goes up. Then it goes around. But I'm getting a little close to where he is. But I don't know if this is the right way I have to go. But I would like to know who has the key. Or if I need to be holding the key, because I don't remember, I don't remember looting any keys, and I don't think it's showing up on my loot list. Just a lot of gems. Fire Emerald, that is good to loot. That's like around almost 200 gold. These will sell for a little bit. I think. The Fine Steel Swords, those sell for a little bit. So those are always good to loot. Bone Chips will go to the Necro. More Bone Chips. Go to the Necro. Staff that's just used to sell. Okay, so this has to go to somebody else. And we got some Defiant Leather. Although, I don't have any characters that have, have leather. Okay, we got a gem. Okay, so that's all the stuff here. There's no key to loot. So it's probably got to be a certain mob that has to eat the, the key to get to Ventra. And that would probably be a long time to get. Yeah, because this goes up and that's the lock key and I bet that locked one is the one that goes to Ventro so there's no way I'm going to be able to get to him for now but as you can see some of the and uh, Ventro Sather actually has had good loot back in the day because you can actually take that loot and sell it. I think there might be a clicky. I don't know. Can't remember, but yeah.
I don't know if you guys have ever heard of uh, Turkish Angora. Um, I do check in on his streams from time to time to view his content. Um, so this is a shout out, shout out to Turkish Angora. If he happens to be watching, I, I don't. I didn't tell him I make videos, but he probably has an idea that I do. He just don't know what doesn't know which characters I have yet. I don't think. So we got two out of three of our characters. The third one is here. I know that I used to come here with my main, which is my mage. And I think I explored every bit of this place one time, at one time. Uh. Excuse me. So now we're in the best area to pull, in my opinion, because there's you know you can you can go pretty far and and uh, your mercs will follow you and tank and heal and nuke so that's not too much to worry about I got three minutes left on my de devotion on this guy on my other guy I have 20 minutes We got one r r guy right here, a Drolvarg Sentry. I mean, these these mobs die so fast that I really don't have to do anything other than tag them because they die so fast. But I don't think that's going to be the case when. Uh, I get to the harder content, like the uh, Omens of War. I'm not even sure how I'm going to level up, but they say that it takes a long time to level up once you get past 80. Now, the, being that this is the test server, um, the experience is going to be a little bit quicker until higher levels. The experience rate on this server is higher than the other servers. And from to the best of my knowledge, it's a little bit higher than Furiona Vi, I believe. So if you play on the test server, you're going to level up a little bit faster, except when you get to the high level. When you get to the higher levels, past 80, it's going to start slowing down. Try and pull the guys all the way at the front too. So I'm pulling at level 50, and I'm not, I'm not having too much trouble. Except that uh, <laughs> the mercs separated the groups a little bit. I don't know if they're going to be able to round them up. My wizard's pretty good on mana, my merc wizard, so I should be able to nuke these down pretty good, but I think all these guys got stuck over here, and I don't know if my the wizard's going to come over here to nuke me, yeah, it looks like he is. Yeah, so we should be good. And the other guy should get experience, let me check. Yeah, it looks like they're getting experience. But as you can see on my level 61 character, he's 
These mobs are green, so he's getting a very, very little experience. But it's all going to AAs. But you can see that the even the greens are given are moving his bar quite drastically. So it's it's not too hard even at even at level 61 to get a, an AA in this zone. It's not too hard. But once you get a higher level, then you'll get to the point where you won't get AAs anymore, and that's in this zone. So if you plan to do your AAs, you have to do it very carefully. Um, to lock your characters at the appropriate level uh, to get faster AAs in this in these uh, easier zones to level up but eventually you'll max out your AAs for this area and you'll have to go to a harder area uh, an area that's a little bit harder to level up perhaps but you'll be a higher you'll have to get to a higher level and you should be able to once you get to that higher level you should be able to kill the mobs a little bit quicker so it's a little bit of a uh, planning session when you're you know strategy and planning that way you can maximize your experience when you're leveling up so that these guys look like they still have enough gold and yeah, this guy's got 470 my other character he has 200 so they're good they're good on money so they're okay but I do need to check their loot so right now I am uh, I don't know if I said this before guys but I am currently running uh, six clients six characters oh, I got a got a pretty neat looking staff there so nothing good on the loot table so these guys look like they're doing okay this guy's level 47 already my mage is level 49 going on 50 and as you can see the mobs are starting to get green now so I'm all, uh, in my next session I'll probably have to move them into Carner's Castle to get better experience this guy's level 44 so he's gonna be okay it's just a matter of pulling a lot of mobs as many as possible but as you, as you can see most of the uh, Carnal's cans, uh, Carnal, Carner's castle has been wiped out, at least the front area. But there will be a, I will make a separate video um, for Ventral Sather um, because it is con a little bit interesting just to see where he is, get to him, get all the keys that you need to get to him and then take him out because he is actually one of the mobs that you'll have to take out to uh, do I believe that's your SK uh, Shatter Knight Epic 1.0 if I remember correctly although I could be wrong but now that you guys got a, kit, a pretty good idea of uh, this some of these areas of Carnal's Castle um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream guys I hope you enjoyed it um, hope you uh, learned something new during the video I did try to go over uh, a lot of different uh, broad topics uh, during the stream guys uh, take care don't forget to share like subscribe uh, as you will find this uh, this video, this live stream on YouTube on my channel, John M. 
so if you did like the video uh, or if you just want to subscribe I can use all the subscribers I can get right now um, I can use a lot of likes uh, if you don't really want to watch the videos and just sub that's fine too that will definitely help my channel grow and I will be very uh, I will appreciate that guys very much um, thank you for watching see you guys in the next one okay take care